blow it over. <laughs> My diet is big. Hey, what is big? Alright y'all, it's supper time this evening and I'm about to show y'all the easiest lasagna ever. Okay, maybe it's the third easiest. The first easiest would obviously be a frozen lasagna and those are pretty good. Stouffer's, Marie Callender's, they're good. Even Lean Cuisine. The first easiest homemade lasagna is pretty much just like this one that I'm going to be showing y'all tonight except you use the oven ready lasagna noodles. I'm not using those. I don't like the texture of the oven ready noodles as much as the kind that you cook first, you know. So I just cook them in the pot while the meat's cooking. But you can totally use the oven ready. I mean, they're not terrible. They're definitely not terrible. They're just, I like cooking them first a little bit better. It's been a long time since I made lasagna. I can't even remember the last time I made it. I'm gonna chop up a little bit of garlic and cook in here with ground beef, but you don't have to do this part. You can skip this all together or you can use the already minced garlic, you know, in the jar, or you can just put in a little bit of garlic powder here in a little bit if you want to, or you can just leave out the garlic all together. It does give it lots of flavor though, so I'm gonna put a little bit in here. I love these quick and easy meals on school nights. You could make this earlier in the day, like just either completely make it, bake it and everything, and then just warm it up at supper time. Or you could make it all the way to where you put everything together and then just stick it in the refrigerator and about 45 minutes to an hour before it's time for supper, then all you have to do is stick it in the oven. You could even make it a day ahead of time or if you wanna make it and put it in the freezer. It's like one of the best freezer meals. So once this ground beef is done, we'll just drain it, put in the sauce. I'm using jarred pasta sauce. I'll link a video down below with the homemade sauce. I don't know if I made the homemade sauce with lasagna or spaghetti, probably spaghetti, but I'll link a video down below with a homemade sauce if y'all wanna see that. So with the lasagna tonight, we're gonna have these garlic knots and salads. I already have everything ready for the salad. The cucumbers are chopped up, carrots are ready, lettuce is ready. The only thing I need to slice up is the tomato. Oh yeah, and we also need to shred the mozzarella cheese, but something that would make it even easier is if you bought the already shredded cheese. When I put the noodles in here, I crisscross them like this. That makes them a lot easier to pull apart whenever you get ready to layer up the lasagna. Okay, I drained the ground beef. Now we're just gonna put in the sauce. Okay, while the noodles are finishing up, we're gonna go ahead and make the cottage cheese mixture. First in here, we need two eggs. Sissy's gonna be whisking those. I'm gonna go get the cottage cheese. Now we're putting in this whole 24 ounce container of cottage cheese. You can also use ricotta. Most of the time, I end up using ricotta because Walmart would be out of cottage cheese, but they had it this time. Now we're putting in some of our mozzarella cheese that we shredded, leaving just enough to put on top at the end. There we go, that should be enough of that. Now you can put Italian seasoning in here, but I like to just put parsley flakes. I have both and I've done it with both, but I like it better with just the parsley flakes. And this is where too, if you decide to do garlic powder, instead of actually putting in garlic, you would put the garlic powder in here with the cheese mixture. All right, now that's ready. As soon as the noodles get done, we'll be ready to start layering it up. I'm gonna go ahead and spray the casserole dish. First thing we put down is some of the meat mixture, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that in here. Just a small layer, this isn't a lot for this one, just a little bit. Time for the lasagna noodles. Now some of the cheese mixture.
casserole dish is a little bigger when we get up here, so now we're going to take some smaller pieces and go around the edges here. I cut this one real quick to make it fit. There we go. Now we put the rest of the shredded mozzarella on top. I put close to three pounds of ground beef in this one. I like to do a pound and a half or so of ground beef and a pound of Italian sausage, but I'm the only one who loves the Italian sausage flavor in the lasagna, so I just do ground beef. But if you like Italian sausage, do that. Do half ground beef, half Italian sausage. It is wonderful. The last thing we're gonna do is sprinkle some more parsley flakes on the top, and then I'm gonna cover it, and it's going in the oven for about 40, to 50 minutes. I'll uncover it for the last 10 minutes and let the cheese get all bubbly and browned on top. I'm gonna spray the part of the foil that's going over the cheese. One of y'all gave me that tip. Can't remember who it was, but this will keep the cheese from sticking to the foil so much. Whenever we remove it, it shouldn't stick too bad. While we wait, laundry. And then we go clean the bathrooms real quick because I didn't get to that earlier this afternoon. There's nothing like a warm, fresh towel. <laughs> spray trick work there are only a few cheese spots stuck on there it's cooled down and ready to go What's he, he doing? Got, what's he got there? What's he got? Oh, he's got a cot. Yeah. Where's Papa go? Oh, is Papa Bear your favorite? Yeah. He's always looking for Papa Bear. What are those? A beast. Bumblebees. What's he got there? Uh, that is a trophy he won. Yeah. A birdie. A bird? A, a big birdie. What are those? A rabbit. What, what else? <laughs> Trees. And? A sun. What's around the sun? It's uh, clouds. Clouds, very good. It's with the wet. Uh huh. What is this face? All right, y'all. Me and Jonah are out here doing the nightly stargazing. It's really nice on the clear nights because you can see so many stars, but it's, it's actually pretty cloudy tonight. He saw his first shooting star the other night, didn't he? Yeah. Our favorite time to come out here is in the fall. There are no leaves on the trees, so you can see so many more than like you can right now. Right now, I know y'all can't see, but right now, here's the window to the house. Right now, there are trees everywhere here and he everywhere behind us. There's like just a little patch that we can look up through to see the stars. We just sit out here and look at the stars, listen to all the crickets and all the things out here, the frogs, and just hope that there aren't mosquitoes swarming us that we can't see. <laughs> Let's see if we can guess Jonah's favorite planet. Uh, Neptune. Yep. <laughs> I knew because he's already told me. My favorite is Saturn. Although Earth should probably be our favorite planet because <laughs> it is where we <laughs> All right, y'all, we are back inside. John and Sissy are going on to bed now. I'm about to go get ready for bed. First, I've got to cover the rest of the lasagna and put it in the refrigerator. It is so good. I was going to put it into something else, but it'll hold its shape better in the pan. And since it is pretty much half of the lasagna, I'm just gonna cover it and stick it in the refrigerator. I've been letting it sit out so it could cool down all the way. And either we'll have it for lunch tomorrow or we'll have it on the leftovers night, whichever night that is. For breakfast in the morning, we're gonna make the croissant puff that I was telling you. I don't know if I told you it was called a puff, but it's a breakfast croissant puff. And we're gonna do a cinnamon roll one. Breakfast cinnamon roll croissant puff 
coming up for breakfast in the morning but this is not something you can really make the night before because you know these croissants would just get way too mushy but it won't take long to put it together in the morning so we've got the croissants I think we're only gonna need about six of these even though I can't go ahead and put it together tonight I am gonna get out everything that I'll need in the morning so when I come in here everything is out and ready for me we're gonna need a whisk and a bowl and I'm just gonna put everything in this bowl there we go we need this pan and I think that's it everything else needs to stay in the refrigerator until tomorrow I already have the coffee ready in here all right so I guess that's it I already switched out the last load of laundry it's bedtime